Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. I have found some new mods that work pretty well. Um, we, uh, we will take a look at the... You can see, by the way, that the turret is gone because I found something to replace that. And we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, I found three new mods I have integrated into the world that do some pretty nice things. Uh, things and we will go over that. Um, I tested them out in a live stream last Saturday and here you can see basically the first one. Is it? Yeah, it's the it's <laughs> it's the first one. It's an electronics board basically and this thing makes it possible to put uh, the small blocks not into a big grid. We, we have to Definitely stay away from saying this is uh, big. Uh, this is small blocks on on big grids. It's more like uh, a rotor. So it it opens up a new grid, but you can basically stick that to the big grid, and that's neat because now you can just here you can just take electronic stuffs like timers and. Uh, programmable blocks and uh, the antennas and all that stuff and then you can use these things and I, I did that here for example this programmable block is running the LCD mod the uh, automatic LCDs and you can see that it runs pretty well you have to work with the the script uh, it's not a mod it's a script it runs the script and you have to work with this and have to go and say um, that you want to run it uh, where it's in the is it in the name or in the custom data it's in the custom data so um, you have to basically run the script with this tag in the custom data so that it basically works behind the rotor, the script. It's, it's the script itself that then works uh, behind the rotor. The script doesn't, wouldn't affect, it, it, it affects this grid, this small grid that is attached to the big grid, but doesn't affect the big grid unless you put in this argument on the programmable block then it runs pretty well and now I can run it from this small programmable block and can run it on the Empress and on the station that's pretty neat but electronics nice thing what we would like to see more is uh, uh, weapons and that works out too I the, the, by the way, the mod author for both of these mods is Diggy. And let's say it that way, this is sometimes uh, pretty, pretty nice stuff. Uh, Diggy always makes pretty nice stuff, but this one is, this one is really great. So this is a block that makes it possible that you can attach the basically uh, again it works like a rotor so it's not the same grid but you can attach all these small weapons to this block and then they work they will not reload automatically so they will not grab uh, ammo from the big grid I don't oh. know why they not do that but yeah that's sadly how it is happening all these <laughs> now I have all these enemy ships flying around me <laughs> but the good thing with it is that we now can stick this sniper weapon on the scout and have a direct fire weapon that we can use to take out um, thruster blocks or something like that that's that's why I was able to remove the turret up here and just for good measure I also attached the this um this uh, yeah oxygen generator that well that was um 
that was a suggestion from one of my viewers in the in the stream because I can't attach these weapons to here. That's not working because then these grids overlap and that doesn't work out. So I had to stick them out somehow and um, I could have used a conveyor block, uh, the, the basically the medium, the small grid, big conveyor block that would have been possible. But someone said, hey, maybe try the try out the the oxygen generator because the oxygen generator is flatter or not as as high as the conveyor block and then i could just attach these two this is an this is the auto cannon and this is a small cannon basically i was able to attach them just to the to this block and they work the cool thing is what works behind basically a rotor or something like that is um, I can normally put them on my hotbar and then shoot them with the mouse button that's working out that's pretty pretty neat cool thing is we could also for example attach the the small turrets to this ship I, I don't want to do that I like the lasers but th that would be possible to just attach small turrets to big ships now and uh, you would have the, the the flatter pretty small uh, machine gun turrets for example that don't stick out like like these do for example it's <clears throat> that's pretty neat but again they don't reload auto automatically someone suggested maybe use uh, tim to just reload them and that's a pretty good idea. For example, if I want to do that with the with the Empress, we will definitely do that. Just use Tim and let Tim always stick ammo in there and then they can reload on their own. Pretty, pretty cool. This this works out so nicely that I'm Whoo! <laughs> it's that, that's good. Um, now we have some some things that got suggested we could definitely do and uh, that's that's pretty pretty nice okay let us just go and and test the the things um i already tested them on my own but uh, you might want to see the damage they are doing that's that's a thing that's always need to see so you can see down there they are just normally on the hotbar uh, number six, seven, and eight, and the oh yeah, uh, another change. I replaced the tip of the candy bar with one of these magnet blocks. Um, this pr works pretty nice um, to to catch ships. I had to remove. I had. Uh, a landing gear in the front there and I had to remove that because the 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 cannons I didn't want them to hit the landing gear and explode the front of the of the ship so yeah we changed that but it 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 works pretty nice I can just unlock it from here and lock it from here if I want that's nice um, and I attached a uh, uh, connector on the top the connector is a bit of a weak point so if we get attacked from the top now we have to be a bit careful because the connector definitely is an opening into the ship uh, but I want to have that there so that I can connect it to the Empress or to uh, for example the the station and have Tim or not Tim but have the assembler that we have in this ship use the ingots from the empress or something like that uh, because then i can just produce ammo for the weapons in the ship and don't have to uh, bring it in from the outside okay so we have the sniper cannon the sniper cannon was a suggestion I got to disable ships and 
we talked about that the last time. I built the the turret on top of this ship because the sniper cannon was not available in uh, in the bigger form, basically. And so n now we have it. I have this thing, small heavy cannon. It just fires straight ahead. Takes a bit to reload. But the damage is pretty high, I would say. Um, so let us go into the camera view. This, this is so crazy. The good thing with this is now that I think I don't need to rely on range. These things just fly straight. And if something is too far away for the automatic turrets, I should still be able to shoot it. So that works out. The next thing we have is just an auto cannon, fast firing. Uh, you might not be able to see it. Uh, can you hear it? Can I hear it? You should be able to hear it. Um, it's a machine gun. We might not really need it because, again, I want to have these cannons to specifically target certain systems on the ship. And we have the light cannon. This is also a pretty neat um, high-powered cannon. It shoots a bit faster than the sniper cannon. So I'm assuming that the damage might not be as high. But yes, that's, that's how I like it now. So if we ever want to attack ships or we will attack ships, but now if we run into the same problem that we had with the other thing that we don't, uh, yeah, that we can't outrun it. Now we at least can shoot certain, certain systems to maybe bring it down. Okay. But the, the 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 next edition i have is and this one this one blew my mind on saturday i tested it basically i downloaded it basically in the stream and we tested it because someone said hey uh, this and this youtuber is using it maybe test it out too um there's another youtuber that is doing uh, i don't know which one captain jack Someone, someone is doing something similar to me with uh, this um, and uh, uh, this enhanced exploration mod. And um, the the viewer said, "Yeah, there's uh, there's a radar you can use," and he's using it to uh, to find all the stuff that I couldn't find because I was using the scan mod. So I'm I can use this thing, and then it tells me, "Hey." There is moving junk. There is stuff, and uh, in in a circle or in a in a in a bubble around me of um, basically fifty kilometers. So, but I, I was not able to find stuff. Uh, sometimes it must have to do with things not being powered up, and also um, that certain objects don't show up in uh in this scan thing it seems to just show derelicts but if i turn on this mod this is an active radar mod it it is also called active radar we can take a look at that in a second but this one basically um just pings the objects around me so you can see that now a lot of blue things show, show up and then they go away. And every few seconds they will do that. So there's an unknown object. And it pings it again. Small unknown object. These are things that my, my scanner didn't pick up. Uh, I have another debris field in the area that 
this mod showed and 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 this one is so much better than the scan mod because for one it directly appears on screen i don't have to uh, go into this weird extra menu and then figure out where it could be this one just directly shows me here's something unknown object go fly there see what it is and it does that for for multiple objects in the area that I never noticed. There's a lot of uh, scrap basically out there, so completely broken blocks or something like that uh, that I I don't really need to see. But uh, there's also stuff I never found with the scan mod. Um, with this one, definitely pretty pretty nice um let me go and take a look if we can see it can we see it in there's there was a way so that i <laughs> it shows my own ship by the way <laughs> because it basically shows the the front of the ship so the the extra blocks see that as four four meter tiny ship that's the 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 extra weapons i've added <laughs> it just shows them that's neat so let me get out of here um and go into the build menu uh, so that we can take a look at that no radar so this one uh who's is that doesn't show me so maybe i need to go into this and then into the workshop <laughs> let's i hope my my video recorder is basically video recorder <laughs> my recording device is picking that up it should be because it just scans the ship but um here you can see that this dev stable that's what you want it's not the original guy that made that um uh, so joe morin 73 just updated that the original seems to be done by tirsis let us take a look at this yeah so this is I think the original, the, the other one just got updated by the guy. By the way, here, these are the attachments, large to small grid without limits. That is Diggy and electronics panel, small blocks on large grid. That is the other one that we talked about. These are stuff that I uh, discovered today. I also have downloaded a follow script, uh, stuff I want to test if I can, for example, build drones uh, i talked a lot with zeal warrior in the comments about uh, maybe adding drones that i can use to uh, attack other ships because again we couldn't use the small weapons mm. and i had the idea of maybe have drones that follow me around and that i can use to attack other ships that's why i downloaded the follow script um don't know if that worked uh, i will do that uh, when i have time for that let us go and take a look at one of the unknown objects just to show you what it is it again it could be just scrap two blocks flying there then we will just take them out bring them home good we'll be back in a second so there it is coming up it seems to be just a block it, it could be that i even visited that because it has my <laughs> my disassemble color but th th that's the thing you you just see single 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 blocks th that's always your problem but it also for example detected this enemy ship before i could uh, see it um th they Th that's the cool thing that it also at at not attacks it detects ships before they show up as enemies or as as whatsoever that that's brilliant that's really 
really cool. And that's what we, we can use. We can even use that then as maybe an, maybe an early warning system or something like that so that we can see if something comes closer. It's really, really, really cool. So that's all the updates for um, today. Um, the, the next episode on Friday, we will... I, I will wait for your comments about that. Maybe someone has ideas what we could do with the, with the mods. I will go in the meantime and go out there and try to find stuff and see all that all the things everything that we wanted to do so finding new new ships wreckage whatsoever now i have two two mods that can basically do that and that's that's pretty cool so um the next thing i can do with that by the way is clean up the area around me and basically uh, make it so that I don't see all the wreckage around my my station anymore. And then clean up the area slowly. <laughs> that that will be that will be pretty cool. Good people. I would say that's all for today. Enough rambling. Um, hope you like the episode. Hope you like the mods. I will add them to my mod pack. Uh, you can find the links to all my things in the in the description there's the the steam link uh, twitter patreon everything and don't know take a look at all the pages um take a look at my at the mods that i basically put into a collection to show hey these are the mods i really like um yeah that's all for today Hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like on the video and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya guys.